What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Jordan Bogner and in this video I want to have a little bit of fun with you guys and also give you some unbelievable information about the ERC program that I think you'll like. If you don't know what the ERC program is by now and how you could be making unbelievable $10,000, $20,000 commission checks just for one phone call to introduce one person to another person, click the link above here and get introduced to the ERC program. Come right back to this video because this is going to be a good one. Okay, so I decided to have some fun and use the current AI platform, ChatGPT, in the news every day. I thought it'd be kind of fun to start talking to it, right? So what did I ask it first? What are the requirements to qualify for the employee retention credits? And in two seconds, it spit this beautiful response out that I think you will enjoy. The eligibility requirements that ChatGPT was able to tell me very quickly and very accurately is that the employer, the business owner, must have a experience a significant de decline in gross receipts and were fully or partially suspended due to government orders related to COVID-19. So basically all that's saying is you had to show a financial burden that was that you were impacted by the pandemic. Okay, great. Um, the next one is that for 2020 eligible employers can claim the credit for wages paid. So basically you must have retained your employees, right? Skip that. You must have retained your employees on payroll. Why is that important? because I'll get into you right here, you had to keep your uh, employer employees on payroll and pay them in 2020 and 2021 in order to be eligible. Great, next one, I'm summarizing these because I don't want to read it word for word, but just giving you some useful information. Qualified wages. The business must have paid qualified wages to its employees. For 2020, qualified wages were paid to an employee up to $10,000 per calendar quarter. So basically it's saying that you were just paying your employees what they were qualified to receive uh, during the pandemic. Um, so the last one here is employer size. For 2020, eligible employees with 100 or, and, or, 100 or fewer full-time employees can claim the credit for the wages for those employees that they were paying. For 2021, it was employers with 500 or, fl or fewer full-time employees. Now, what this doesn't, ChatGBT forgot to mention that I know, is you had to have over five W-2 employees, under 500, but over five W-2 employees, not including the people who own the business and their family members. So that's a very important part of that. There are other, it's basically saying there are other limitations. Please seek an accountant or a tax professional, right? But great, those are the main ones. They got most of them. I just wanna show you guys uh, the database that I built for you to get ERC business leads. How is this database built? What was it built on? These are a lot of common questions. Are, how are these leads even you know, organized. What did you base it on? If you scroll down right on the website, you can see this is our database consists of businesses that meet the following criteria had between five and 500 employees on payroll in 2020 and or 2021 kept the employees on payroll in 2020 and or 2021 had a reduction in business during 2020 and 2021. That is essentially the reduction in gross receipts, right? started the business before 2020, so they were involved, they were open before the pandemic, and then they were impacted by the pandemic, right? So I just wanna show you that when we built this lead database, we didn't just build it out of thin air, there's a lot of lead databases going around where it's just businesses, right? Great, there's millions of businesses, but do they even qualify? Will you be wasting your time contacting a business that doesn't even meet these very general criteria for you to even receive the ERC credit, right? That is how we built this database from the ground up so that it is very narrow and focused only on the ERC program. Now, let me just show you a quick demo. If you haven't seen my videos before, basically this is the database. You can go through here. I'm gonna type in a state, Alabama, Arkansas, uh, you could type in industries, whatever you want into here. Basically, there's 3 million leads behind here. Let's do a quick search. 
great. You can filter by pages. Let's do 250. Download the CSV right to your computer. Open this up right here. Organize this a little bit. Make it nice because it's a CSV file. Boom. All your phone numbers right here. All of your companies right here, right? that have already been pre-vetted for those four criteria. So when you start contacting these companies, it is so much more efficient that, to know that you're actually contacting companies that have a very high likelihood of a qualifying for the ERC program. If you are interested in purchasing these leads, and if you buy these leads, guys, it's not a guarantee, nothing's a guarantee in life, but if there's three million leads and you take this very seriously and you contact, go down the list every day, filter what you want and contact these companies and explain to them the ERC program. We have free scripts that come with the program as well inside of here that you can use. I guarantee you some big commission checks are coming your way and are coming to these businesses. And believe me, they want the help. You just have to convince them that look, this is free money from the government. This is not a scam. Let me help you. That is all you have to do. If you want to join the Facebook group down below, we are in there. The Facebook group is growing. We are spreading unbelievable knowledge to each other and constantly getting updates on what's going on in the ERC space. So with that, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.